hey, this is Julia, and today in this video, I have this laptop to show you, which is the Dell laptop that I made that computer adventure movie on. Um, now, yes, it is Christmas today, so Merry Christmas if you guys are watching this video on Christmas Day. Um, so far, I've had... Eh, it's been an okay day. Not bad. It's been great. It's just with these computers, they're frustrating me a little bit. Um, so this computer... I made a video on, I did all the updates and everything, got it all running. But I noticed something about this computer, which is when I go to Windows Update to check for updates, it like takes super a super super long time to check for updates. And it I can it, it like I can never update Windows on this computer. It's that slow. It never works. It keep it, or it keeps checking and it takes hours to complete the check or it like never even finds anything and I figured oh it's probably just the computer being silly but I worked on this HP computer over there which I put Windows 7 on it and did the updates and I did I noticed I did install the um, service pack manually like with the file and it's what I've realized is when you do that I think it messes up the system because that computer started having issues with checking for updates after that. It was it, it checked fine before that when I checked for drivers and then when I installed that update and re rebooted the system and all that it wouldn't check for updates and the standalone installer for I tried to install an update to make Windows Update work better and it would just get stuck on that searching for updates on this computer thing. So, yes, this computer does want me to upgrade to Windows 10, but on, I don't know if I should upgrade this computer or not, but I'm just going to X out of that for now. Um, so, I did install... This is the update to make Windows Update work better, but I'm, it was already on this computer, I found out. But when you try to run this um, on this computer, though, it won't say, oh, it's already installed. It'll just sit here and never finish. And I had that problem with that computer over there as well. It kept doing the same thing. It would never check for updates. It would take hours. It would never complete. I could never get updates to install like this. Like the standalone installer never worked. And this computer is having the same issues. So I think it's something to do with when you install that service pack manually, it completely messes up the whole installation. And when I ran the update troubleshooter, and I'm going to check it. And it probably will never find anything. But when I ran the update troubleshooter on the computer, it it said that the service registration was missing or corrupt and it was not fixed. And that's bad. And I ran a bunch of other things. I reset Windows Update, which is why it doesn't have any updates and why it says never. I completely reset Windows Update so it deleted all the update history and everything. And I could still not get the thing to check for updates. I let it check for about over an hour after I did that and it just kept doing this so I shut the computer down and this computer is now having another issue it won't even charge and I'm not sure why but it says not charging but it is plugged in so at least I can use it when it's plugged in but I think the battery maybe the battery is loose or pro I think I need to like take out the battery and put it back in because I think I've had this problem before and that's how I fixed it so judging about this, these computers I noticed you can't install that update manually um you you got to update through windows update in order to make it work good because i've tried everything to try to fix this computer nothing's fixing it this one had the same problem and after i installed that service pack manually and i might include some screenshots in this video from earlier probably they would have already been included i think i'm going to actually um but yeah um these windows 7 machines are having trouble checking for Windows updates and this one I reinstalled Windows completely I redid all the updates again through Windows update I didn't use the offline update I didn't use any of that it did have some failures but that's because I guess it installed too many at once because it had like 228 updates and it tried to do all of them at one time now I found out something very disappointing about this computer as well, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And found, I found this out about two days ago. Um, 
originally I wanted to put Windows 10 on this machine. Originally, I, I, that's what I wanted to do with that desktop, that HP desktop that used to be in my office a long time ago, if you've seen it from my older videos. I originally decided, oh, I'm going to put Windows 10 on it, but I need to upgrade it to Windows 7 and then run the, whatever, the media creation tool or run, um, you know, at least update it completely and get that KB update and then upgrade through there because I wanted to run a compatibility check but I found out you can't unless you have that update installed. Oh, my phone is ringing but I'm not going to answer it. Um, but you have to install that update in order to do a compatibility check and um, I couldn't get it to install because of these update issues and I installed the service pack manually because it required it and then I tried to install the update itself that someone I found a download link to it because apparently it's not on Microsoft's site but someone had a link to the direct download link off their servers which I tried to install but it kept hanging on this and it would never do anything so I just ended up saying like whatever I tried the media creation tool and the upgrade thing and then it get, kept getting hung on checking for updates and it would like on the Windows 10 installation thing and I was just like are you serious like I didn't know if it was gonna run a check or not but I wanted to run one because this computer is so old. It's from like 2003, that computer over there. So I knew it run, if it ran Windows 7 just fine, oh, it'll probably run Windows 10 just fine. Well, not so much. I ran something to try, to, I found that when we're downloaded Windows 10 at, it ran the setup file on that computer. And, and it said, oh yeah, do you want to get updates for installation? I said, no, I don't, which bypassed my problem with the keep checking for updates thing because it, it's like when you install that service pack manually it always just keeps checking for updates like it, it never finds updates it, th these two are getting stuck and the Windows 10 installation checking for updates gets stuck it, it's it's so I don't know how and I found out it had corrupt stuff but I bypassed that and then it start and I know I was just gonna upgrade them I was figured maybe hopefully it'll run something right here and hopefully it'll say, okay, yes, you can run it. Everything's going to be all good to go. Because I ran a Windows 7 compatibility check. And it said, oh, yeah, I can run Windows 7. I actually did that before I put Windows 7 on the system itself. But I'm kind of talking about both computers right now, the Dell and that one. As far as the Dell, it, 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 with installing that update manually, it, it messes up Windows Update, it messes it up on that system, and it messes it up on this system, which means I'm just going to have to do a complete reinstall on this system as well, unfortunately, which is what I'm talking about. This computer will need a complete reinstallation, and to redo it, I've tried everything to fix Windows Update, and nothing seems to work. I don't think I'm going to do it in this video. But I am going to show you this computer. So when I ran the thing and told it, oh, bypass the checking for updates thing about Windows 10, I told it to bypass that part. And then after that, it popped up some message saying, oh, sorry, this computer can't run Windows 10. And I was like, are you serious? Like, it said it was missing something to do with the processor. I was like, are you kidding me? I can't even run Windows 10. And this computer is already corrupt. So I just did a complete reinstallation of Windows 7. Did all the updates the right way. And was wondering when this thing is going to say, oh, it's not compatible. And it did actually pop up yesterday after I got that update to install finally and saying oh yeah you want to upgrade your computer to Windows 10 um, we're not sure if it's compatible or not yet we but we'll but it'll we'll tell you during the upgrade process if it is or not um, I was just like well I already know it isn't so why am I gonna do that so I just X'd out of the message wondering when is this computer gonna actually tell me it's not compatible because I want to know when it's going to tell me. I'm just curious to, and to see what it actually says because I've never seen the message before through the Windows 10 thing. So, at my surprise, I ran like maintenance on this computer today. I ran a defrag. I ran all kinds of stuff on it. And at my surprise, I had a message pop up on the screen when I came back. This saying, unfortunately, <laughs> 
this PC is unable to run Windows 10. Isn't that nice? So now it actually finds out the CPU isn't supported, which is the processor. So it finally found out this computer is not compatible to upgrade. And I thought that was kind of crazy. I knew eventually it was going to find out when, but like, I knew eventually it was going to find out. But the last time this popped up, it, it said it didn't know. It said it, it said it had no idea. And it wanted me to upgrade. It's like, upgrade now or blah, blah, blah. And I X'd out. But now it's funny how today it randomly decides to pop up when I go do something and come back and leave the computer on because I was running a defrag. But this obviously popped up over it. But I found this saying, oh, we can't run it. So I don't know if you guys can see. This is a cool theme I put on it. And I made it look cool um, just for the fun of it because this computer cannot support Windows Aero either because I guess the, the the graphics card is you know too old however it is compatible with Windows 10 the graphics card is but just not the CPU so maybe if I replace the CPU which is like the processor um, it'll run and actually it said something to do with the processor doesn't support NX I don't know what NX is but um, sounds like something silly so you can see what's view the issues. Let's click on it and view the issues. See, it says the CPU. Here's why Windows 10, Windows 10 can't be installed. The CPU isn't supported. See, the graphics card's displayed. It says, however, and the device manufacturer hasn't made it compatible, but it probably would work because I heard someone that said, oh, here's how to bypass if it says it's not compatible because of your graphics drivers is that you install Windows 10 through a disk and then you go in, I think, in Device Manager and find the the display driver and then tell it the driver because I had an issue with Windows 7 getting the driver saying, oh, um, these drivers can't be installed because they have to have Windows XP or older. But I bypassed that by finding where it extracted, went into Device Manager, found the display driver, said Update Driver, directed it to that folder, and it installed just fine. It bypassed the error saying, you can't run these drivers. So, it, you can, it's just it may not let you unless you bypass it a certain way. So, yeah, this, this wouldn't work. Unfortunately, I can't get Windows 10 on here, but Windows 7 doesn't run bad on this system. It, it doesn't run bad. It runs pretty good. And I think the theme looks pretty cool. And you can see it. I think it looks pretty cool, but yeah. I mean, it, it works. Unfortunately, 10 can't run, but the computer works fine. So maybe I eventually, I, maybe, can I, if, can I, can I, can you guys tell me, can I get like a new processor for this computer? It's like an old, HP desktop computer. It's it's we've had it for a while. It's the one I made those other adventure videos about it, reinstalling XP. Now you guys are probably freaking out. Oh my god, whatever happened to Windows XP? Did you wipe it out of your system? Oh no. Um no actually I didn't wipe it out. Um I have a dual boot on here. This is Windows 7 and this is XP and then that's the recovery partition. I just left it on there. So yes, the computer still has Windows XP on it. It has a dual boot of Windows XP, so the computer's just fine. We've got the dual boot. I can't run Windows 10, but that's okay. So, found that out, and not a good thing to pop up on Christmas. What if I... It didn't know I knew that before, because I did a reinstall, so it's not nice it popped up on Christmas, because someone's like, oh, no, I wanted to run Windows 10, but it tells me I can't on Christmas. No! But anyways, you can see that Windows Update isn't running anymore. Sorry, they're talking really loud right now, and I'm trying to talk loud so you guys don't have to hear all that stuff so yes Windows update doesn't work on here I'm gonna have to reinstall Windows on this computer I don't think I'm gonna make a video showing me reinstalling Windows or I might I don't know or I'll just include it maybe in this video I'm not sure but yes I am gonna reinstall Windows on this computer because Windows update got messed up so if you guys have an old Windows 7 system I recommend if you reinstall maybe just update it through Windows update because when you use the offline updater or you update the service pack manually it doesn't work good or maybe update that update through Windows Update and then run the offline updater um, because I noticed every time I install that update manually it messes up Windows Update it happened on two different systems 
I'm not sure why, but they originally did come with XP, so maybe that has something to do with it. But if you guys ever had that issue with Windows Update, leave, leave me a comment in the comments below letting me know. Just wondering if anyone else is having the same issue as me. So I found out, yeah, obviously I already knew that wasn't compatible, but it decided to pop up today. Before it said it didn't know, but today it knew apparently because it ran a check, I guess, when I wasn't messing with it. So yeah, so gonna have to do a reinstall. It's still not finding updates, nothing's working. I can't even cancel this. It's not even wanting to cancel on me. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. If you guys are watching this on Christmas, as I think I'm gonna upload this on Christmas, hopefully. Um, I may have a video of a reinstall, but to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video of a reinstall again. Um, Cause this is basic stuff. Reinstall the operating system, do the updates through Windows Update and yeah. So, anyways, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy this video and bye bye.